night. Pretty calm. Probably gonna go fish today around Susha. I'm gonna head up there. It's another 15 miles. And hopefully catch some link cut. bit blustery today so I'm kind of just um, hanging out waiting for that to calm down and then I'm gonna get after it beautiful air plenty of uh, anchorage room on the Reed Harbor side so really really comfortable good night of uh, sleep slept really well which is very key for being out here for two weeks on end so it's gonna be a good time I want to see if I can catch dinner tonight so I'm gonna go fish around we're going fishing and then we'll come back it's not super calm out. We're still going out in it a bit, but it's supposed to die down here in an hour. So I'm hoping to just uh, fish a bit and then maybe head north to Waldron Island, north end of Waldron. Seems like there's some good reef around there and uh, see if we can't get ourselves a nice big chunky link cod. Catch us a fish. This current may be unfishable, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I really gotta rip the reverse on this. Yeah, it's gorgeous. What the hell? Oh yeah, we're gonna be coming up to a really good drop off here. So I keep hitting this reverse because I'm trying to keep my line vertical. So if I don't. I'm gonna be all the way back there snagging in rocks. I want it to be vertical in line with the boat here. There's a good one. Oh yeah. There's a good one. Beautiful cabbie. Yeah. Cabazon. Look at that giant cabazon. Whoa, confusing everywhere. Oh, there he goes. That would have been great to keep. <laughs> Got him on the trailer hook. That was a silly move. You see that? Oh yeah, there's something else. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a fishy spot. All right. <laughs> there's a link cod. Probably small, yep, it was small. Well, you don't drop fish back in because then they stop biting. Right, let's go do that drift again before the curls rip because that was productive. Well, that was foolish. I just let a giant, really nice cabazon go on accident because it was uh, spewing all of its reproductive juice all over my boat and I tried to hold it over the edge foolish and uh, he worked himself off the hook really quick so but then immediately got a small link caught after um, there's fish here so I'm gonna keep drifting this see if I can get a nice keeper ling and cabazon to try to make up for that one I lost but this is the fishy spot and there's no other boats here as I was saying before I like adventuring around and finding new spots to fish I don't like fishing the same old spots that every boat goes to I like finding new spots and the San Juan's perfect for that. For adventuring, look at your charts, find new reefs, and go fish them. And just try something new. I think you you become a better fisherman that way. You learn to read the water and uh, know where all the all the potential fish may be. So let's do this again. Oh yeah, there's something solid. Uh, <laughs> there's something really good. Ooh. Yeah, here's one. <laughs> Woo! This nice 28 inch link cod, but it's chunky, healthy, healthy, healthy. Look at this gorgeous, beautiful kelp bed link cod. Oh my goodness. Just a stunner. Puppy, we got a link cod. 
That's so cool. So we got her done. We got a fish in the boat. And uh, now we're gonna head into Roche and grab some coffee and fart around. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. <laughs> just chilling here at uh, Roche Harbor. Restocked some ice and uh, rinsed off the boat. I love coming here and just using the amenities. Um, don't tell anybody, but it's great. You go to the guest dock and then you wash down your boat. I'm gonna suck pack this fish. And, um, and just hang out for a bit, get some coffee and fart around, get some donuts. Wonderful time in Roche Harbor, it always is, it's chill. If you are around the islands, drive up or boat in. It's really fun, you could go to the guest dock and it's, uh, it's free to stay at the guest dock for like four hours, so pretty cool, man. So anyways, heading back to camp, let's do this. Got onto a ball here at Stewart Island. It's going to be a nice, hopefully calm evening. So just going to probably call it an early night, cook up some of this ling cod, uh, and then hopefully head out for salmon early tomorrow morning on the Canadian side. So we're going to give that a shot. That'll be really fun. I brought my vacuum sealer with me on this trip. So any fish that I catch, I can preserve really well. I like doing this better than putting the fillets in Ziploc bags. I knew I was going to be gone for multiple weeks on end, so it was imperative to bring a vacuum sealer to preserve the fish the best way possible. The plan was to offload whatever fillets I did catch with friends and family to freeze for the time being until I can take it back home and put it in my freezer. Power situation, I used a battery bank power station EcoFlow to power the vacuum sealer and I brought two solar panels to recharge energy into that battery bank as needed. It also was good for laptop use and charging my phone. Fresh fish. Holy 